Spaceship will self destruct in three, two, one. Spaceship destroyed. But I've still got the greatest enthusiasm and confidence in the mission. Looks like we escaped that horrible explosion in the nick of time. Are you okay, Max? Hmm. I don't feel disintegrated. You? No more than usual. But it felt like landing on a boiled ham. Oops. Sorry, Mr. Feverly. Forgot you were in there. The indignities I'm made to suffer! Why on earth have you brought me here? Do you recognize this place? Does no one study the classics anymore? Eh, well, we're obviously in the eternal twilight at the banks of the River Styx. The land of the dead. <laughs> oh boy, all the coolest people are dead. I should have brought my autograph book. Well, you've delivered Bosco to his final rest, so let's be off, shall we? Come on, we can't just leave Bosco here. Yeah, we should at least staple a note to him or something. No, we're gonna have to find Bosco's soul and get it back into his body. Uh, we knew the peace and quiet was too good to last. How'd we end up on our own street? You mean, we've been living over the gateway to hell all this time and never took advantage of it? Our condo association is going to be receiving a very stern letter about this. Featherly laid an egg. Don't ask me how. What's that? It's all neat and computery. It's got to help out with your laser light show. Thanks, Sam and Max. This'll be perfect. At first, I was afraid. I was petrified. That ain't right. What did you guys do? Reconfiguring neural network, dumbass. So, you're back from outer space. Evacuate! Evacuate! Did you think I crumbled? Ah! Did you think I'd lay down and die? Oh no, not I. I will survive. I will survive. Tiny Timmy. Uh, 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 so cold. So f cold. Medic! Hello! For emergency medical service, press or say one now. Just save my boy! Hang on, Timmy! Live, damn it! Live! Well, if that doesn't help us get into hell, nothing will.
Hey! Hey, buddy! Throw us that remote control, would you? You're gonna need this! Thanks, buddy. Be you later. Ooh, let me! Let me! There'll be snow flurries in hell before I let you have control of a two-story tall battle robot, Max. Here I go again, on my own. Domo arigato, Mr. Obato. Almost makes me want to start a fire. full of seriously injured rats, and I've got a quota to fill. Hold your pale horses! We're working on it! One adult and one max, please. How did you guys get a token? We've done things, Harry. Things we're not proud of. Wicked things. Shut up, Max. Er, uh, Zombie Abraham Lincoln didn't want his. Oh, good! Put your token in the machine to call the train. Everybody get on board, because we about to take a ride on the Soul Train. Next stop, we going straight to hell, baby. Jorgen. One moment. This is hell. Danke for holding. No. Hell. You... What number were you trying to reach? No. We are 666. Yeah. No, no problem. Happens all the time. See you soon. Can I help you? We want to talk to the guy in charge. He's taken Bosco's soul too early. I see. Well, his schedule is full at the moment, but I'll see what I can do. And you are... Er, uh, Sam and Max. Sam and Max. Sam and Max. Hmm. Oh, yes! The ones who sent me here! Oh, I'll get right on that. Jürgen, be a peach and clear out my calendar for... Oh, dear. Who authorized this? A giant horned skull? Really? I'm sorry, I thought it was 2008. Oh, very well. Cancel all my appointments, would you? I'll be in my office. Oh, did I forget to introduce you? <laughs> How careless of me. You can have a seat and wait if you like.
You don't have to be damned to work here, but it helps. Hmm, it looks cold. I can't even get a hot cup of coffee in hell! Can we have your keycard? Well, considering you already took it, I guess so. I don't need it anymore, now that I'm full-time in hell, suckers! Yeah, Brady, you win! Your mama don't work here. Hey, we needed her token. I'm impressed by the decor, but what kind of place is this? Must be the kids' play area. They've got little play sets of all our pals. Hey, Bosco! Hang on, I know what this is. This is where they keep all the souls of people who died during our cases. They opened it already? But I had a speech prepared and everything! Ah, the key card unlocked the dioramas. Where to? Don't oh, know. More people coming to watch me. Bosco, you're nude. Silence. Silence. It's okay, baby. We're all still watching you for eternity. <laughs> it's nitrous oxide. Looks like Bosco has some dental work in his future. It'll be twice as hilarious without anesthesia. We expanded again. I thought I'd finally figured out how to keep the weight off. This ought to boost the DeSoto spirit. Wow, the tank just shrunk to the perfect size when I put it in. Now that's efficiency. This is as fast as it goes, a little buddy. We are in hell! Looks like Sam and Max got themselves into another jam. Let's see what happens when old Bosco's demons get a load of this. The 
Yes, something else, I tell you what. I'm impressed and delighted. I just can't look away. Oh my god, I'm not being watched. I'm free. Quick, Bosco, let's vamoose or skedaddle, whichever's faster. Vamoose! Alright guys, you actually did it! Actually? Yeah, but that Satan dude still owns my soul. I'm gonna chill here till you work things out with him. Chill in hell! That, uh... <clears throat> yeah, that's good. Brady, Brady, Brady. We've taken a tremendous hit in efficiency. Are we going to have to demote you back to hourly? N -n no, no, sir. I'll do better. Hey, Lucifer. We want to talk to you. What? I'm quite busy. Scheduling an appointment with my secretary. Man, Satan's a jerk. Who does he think he is? We're going to have to do some more damage to get his attention. Thank you. 
Looks like some kind of vaguely familiar hellish toy factory, Max. Oh boy, I want to see the assembly line where they injection mold the dolls' heads. I hear it's strangely hypnotic. Oh, there's no assembly line. I make all my toys one at a time. It's the only way to guarantee each child loves it as much as I do. Look, Max, it's our favorite demonically possessed elf. Well, maybe not favorite, but he's in the top five at least. Oh, hey guys. What toy are you working on now? It's the hottest new toy for Christmas. The Rex Skirmish Danger Hero action figure. He's a testosterone packed champion of the glorious art of savage brutality. Sounds like someone's overcompensating. The head office keeps sending him back, but I know I can make him perfect. Max and I wrote the book on gleefully violent entertainment. I'm especially proud of the appendix, detailing the ripping out thereof. Why don't you let us help with your toy? Hmm, maybe I have been overthinking it. Your childish simplicity could be just what I need. Childlike. All right. First, what kind of cool outfit should he have? He should be all buff and shirtless, with a big flaming skull tattoo on his chest. Done. Now. What should his action-packed attachment be? A magic spatula bequeathed him by Andrinmir, Norse chef of the gods. I can do that. Now, what's his tragic flaw? What drives him to seek out danger? He's got highly caustic acid for blood and various related digestive disorders. Hmm, okay. Thanks for the suggestions, guys. I'll whip up a prototype. Santa's workshop, the jolly old elf working hard on his delivery, the sound of children playing, and a jaunty Christmas jingle. How could this possibly be hell? Maybe Santa's Jewish? the gift, just say so next time. Did you come to enjoy my wonderful toys? <laughs> I thought I'd never be rid of those blasted tights. Oh, listen to that silence! <laughs> it's heaven! Thank you, Sam and Max. You have been very good boys. But as long as Satan owns our souls, we have to stay put.
Mr. Bliss, I'm I... I'm Hugh Bliss! Yes, I know. I took a great risk hiring a sentient bacteria to work for us. But the numbers are making me believe I made a mistake. Oh, don't say that! I still believe you're doing a great job! Oi! Diablo! Not you again. Go away. Have a wonderful day! We're not getting that guy's attention until we bring the whole place down. Now, my next dish is based on a favorite recipe of Grandpa Stinky's. <laughs> which I'm taking to the ninth circle of hell. To the base of milk and pickle juice, just add a little chocolate-covered horseradish. Damn! And after the break, another circle! Woohoo! Woo ah, get a hold of yourselves. Nothing is that exciting. Growing Up Stinky, The Early Years. Trashy celebrity biographies and hell are a natural combination. How are you folks enjoying the show? I thought the casino was nice, but this? What a treat! I ain't no expert on food or nothing, but that Stinky's a master chef. I think we're gonna have to come down here for vacation every year. Yeah, it's pretty f sweet. Tyrone! Now, Miss Stinky, I've warned you about the responsibilities that come with hosting a live program. It won't happen again, I promise. Okay, just keep the language clean and that'd be fabulous! I'd hate to have to cancel such a wonderful show. I will slaughter you all. Hey, someone opened the two-teeth drawer. Wow, Jimmy's personal file is huge. He must have been committing a dozen unpardonable sins a week. Slacker.
Sam and Max, you're here. I've been dying to tell you. You'll never guess what Abe did during our date last night. We stopped speculating about that months ago. It was making me lose my appetite. Sam, shut it. Girlfriend, dish. He actually got down on one jowl and asked me to marry him. Congrats, I guess. I've got so much planning to do. I'd be a wreck if I didn't have the monster to help. Oh, it's no bother. Don't judge me for this, Max. It's for his own good. Bless you. All right, monster, monster. Hmm. I've never handled a monster before. I'll have to figure out how this works exactly. Your own good, kid. It'll make the eulogy more interesting. What did you f do? Give that f back! Settle down, Timmy. The doctors say if you exert yourself, those f stole my f <laughs> Ah, finally! A simple, straightforward death. Let me just look at his file and we can go straight off to. Hello! Is that really this kid's file? Harry, please. You can't expect us to do your job for you. I could have sworn it was smaller. Kid must have really been busy on his deathbed. You should have seen it. It was like every single letter ever written to Hot Bunny combined into one debaucherous rampage. Oh well. You can tell me about it on the way to hell then. Later. Hiya, Timmy. Is your soul finally at peace? F no, I'm not at peace, Mr. Max. I'm f ecstatic to be on stage with such a f genius. Hmm, what was that? What is he doing? Calm down, kid. Did you taste her f f nut log with whipped f simply divine? Oh my! Oh no! And the smells. It's like teen. P Ooh, with a I simply cannot allow this. This show is canceled. Well, that was exciting. What? Cancelled? 
You're finally free, Grandpa Stinky. Seen her denied everything. Made to suffer like I suffered. I can't remember when I've been so happy. Hmm, was that a happy ending or not? I just can't tell anymore. I suppose I should be grateful. But I'm not! Until you reprobates get the rights to my soul, I still can't leave! Looks like we've broken hell. Don't worry, we can always raise some more! I'll bet that high and mighty Satan jerk won't be too busy to talk to us now. I was under the impression you were here to increase productivity. Blarg? And yet our efficiency is at an all-time low. How do you explain that discrepancy? Uh, Blarg Blarg? We haven't been properly introduced. We're Sam and Max. You know, from the statues. Pleased to meet you. I hope you've guessed my name. Yeah, and you better release our pal souls from hell, because my excitable little friend is getting angry. And I'm angry too! There's no need for that kind of talk. I'll gladly release your friends. Just sign this release. And that's that. Well, gee, Satan. Thanks. Now just do me a favor and think of the most horrible thing you can imagine. Hmm, okay. N no, wait. Okay. Good. Now, off you go. Hey, what just happened? He traded his soul for that of all your friends. They never read the fine print. Now, Sam will spend eternity in his own personal hell. Huh, I'm back in the office. This doesn't seem so bad. Right, little buddy? That's right, partner! Hey, a bone saw! Gosh, I hope I can find someone's bones to cut. It only works on card key readers in hell. It only works on card key readers in hell.
It only works on card key readers in hell. It only works on card key readers in hell. Hey, Max, look alive! What do I do with this? Don't eat it, just get in here. Max, meet Demon Peepers. Oh, hi! Demon Peepers here says he's my partner and best friend. <laughs> There. What are you? Oh, God! Stop that! Cut it out! Hey! Bye, Leonard. That was some of your best work ever, Max. I'm particularly proud of what I did around the carotid artery. Yes, excellent grouping. Shall we motor? Let's! What the devil? That hell was practically inescapable. Sorry, Satan. Your demon imposter was no match for the true power of friendship and cooperation. Plus, I ripped out his kidneys. Well, this does put me into a bit of a pickle. Management will have my head over this. Management? Who could possibly be more horrible and universally reviled than Satan? So, you finally figured it out. Sure took you long enough. I take it you already know my bosses. Know us? These fools have been essential to our plans. But how did you but get... You can't and when did you... Satan. And how what long have you got you against us? And what did we do? Please, one question at a time. So you meant to get Santa possessed by a demon? No, that was a clerical error. We thought some corporate efficiency would help Satan get his act together. But it seems he'll always be antiquated and useless. You know I'm standing right here. We did mean to kill that elf, though. What makes you guys think you'll be better at running hell than Satan is? The old ways are dying. It's time to bring evil into the 21st century. Our subcontracting and outsourcing of soul capture and processing has increased our efficiency tenfold. But we still have to convince the shareholders to believe in hell as a relevant player in the afterlife. Current marketplace realities and underlying economic considerations mean we have to downsize. Satan, we kept you on staff for sentimental reasons. But your performance continues to disappoint. But if you'll give me another chance... <laughs> Clean out your desk and don't come back! That was fun! We've heard quite enough, thank you. Very well. Now that you've helped us depose Satan, there's nothing stopping us from continuing our agenda for domination of the Infernal Realms! Thanks, Sam and Max. We couldn't have done it without you! First action item, seducing a human woman and conceiving the new Hellspawn. I'm all over it! Second, tempting humanity to repeat the original sin. I've got it covered. And finally, winning a new modern soul over to hell. Because of the technical skill required, I'll be handling that one, obviously. Thanks for all your help, Sam and Max. <laughs> wow, I think unwittingly bringing about the apocalypse is a first for us, little buddy. Mm, huh? Oh, sorry, I completely zoned out there. Did they say anything important? Never mind.
Hey, pals, come on in. We're throwing one hell of a bachelor party for Lincoln in here. Party? I haven't been paying you to party. I spent 40 years tracking down the man who trashed my store, hiring the best private investigators. It's time you tell me where he is. Tell me where he is. Well, there he is. Bosco? The mama? You mean you never thought to mention that your suspect was my son? I thought it was obvious. You're the one who's been after me all this time? It was all just a simple misunderstanding. <laughs> yeah, that is pretty daffy. A lifetime of persecution. All just a simple misunderstanding. Hope you're not mad, baby. We all go a little mad sometimes, Mother. Run along to the bunker, and I'll be in later with your dinner. I'm a ghost, baby. I don't eat dinner. Just do it! Bye, Sam and Max. Well, now that case is wrapped up, I'm off to the party. You coming, Bosco? Party? Oh, hell yeah! Well, we rescued Bosco from hell, just as crazy as when we left him. Maybe even crazier! Can we borrow some of your stuff, Satan? Well, I suppose so. I was hoping to sell it on eBay, but I received no bids. You know, your screen name, Father of Lies 666, might have something to do with that. Let's see here. One super long barbed paperclip chain. And the popper said you weren't being productive. Snack-sized bag of pork rinds. Great taste from the Great Deceiver. And one grocery list, written on company letterhead. I know you're the source of all evil, but wasting office supplies for personal use? That's just wrong. Steady, steady, watch the hands. Don't drop it! Oh, for the love of God, don't drop it! Easy, easy now! You can do this, Sam! I believe in you! Steady, steady! Good hands! Give me the old one, too! It's so close, I can taste it! Easy, easy. Shut up, Max. Make sure you read the license agreement first, Sam. It's very important. Just start playing. Ha! Beat that! Bravissimo! I think I saw the face of God. You've got to admit it, Specs. <laughs> you just got served like baked ziti at a mafia wedding. I don't know what that means, but I don't care. You will pay for this, Sam and Max. Don't be sad. What would you do with a golden fiddle anyway? When this case is over, Max and I will come back to teach you guys about bling.
Hiya, cops. Have you been working on any new cool augmented reality games? Thanks to a collaboration with the new Grim Reaper, we have an action-packed game of shooting rats who... We'll do it! Let me finish! Due to a clerical error, all of the city's rats were recently released from hell. Including ones that were supposed to stay dead. Oops. Shoot the evil rats to send them back to their final reward. That doesn't sound too hard. Your car has its own agenda. You must shoot the evil rats before your car hits them or you lose a point. What do we win? You're ineligible for our car upgrade, but you can play for some fantastic decals. Would you like to play now? Hell yes. Initiating augmented reality driving sequence. Hello, and welcome to the Pimplicot Great Briefing 5000. Send the evil rats back to hell. Ready? Go! One point for the DeSoto. <laughs> Remember, they're evil rats. Out, run, over. Good job. Good job. Another one down. The car got that one. <laughs> awesome. You lost a point. Point deducted. Back to hell with you. No, run over. You lost a point. Well done. One point for the DeSoto. That had you. No more clock. We're sorry, you've run out of time. Would you like to try again? You bet. We're just getting warmed up. Excellent. Initiating due hyphen over sequence. Send the evil rats back to hell. Ready? Go! <laughs> he <had it> <laughs> awesome. Good job! Point deducted. Back to hell with you! Another one down! Well done. Good job. Remember, they're evil rats. <laughs> that had to be. The car got that one. <laughs> awesome. Congratulations, you've won! Would you like to keep trying for more decals? You bet. Excellent. Initiating to hyphen over sequence. Send the evil rats back to hell. Ready? Go! New decal applied. Point deducted. You lost a point. <laughs> that had you hurt. Good job. <laughs> Let it go. Good job. Another one down. Well done. Back to hell with you. Remember, they're evil rats. <laughs> Out, run, over. Well done. Another one down. <laughs> Let it go. Back to hell with you. Good job! <laughs> that had you hurt. Remember, they're evil rats. Good job. Banana bread. Would you like to try again? And how? Send the evil rats back to hell. Ready? Go! One point for the DeSoto. The car got that one. <laughs> nice. Well done. 
Remember, they're evil rats. Good job. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that had to be Out, run over. <laughs> he had it killed. Back to hell with you. Another one down. Good job. Well done. Job. Congratulations, you won! Would you like to keep trying for more decals? You bet. Send the evil rats back to hell. Ready? Go! The car got that one. Another one down! You lost a point. Good job! <laughs> I see. Point deducted. Back to hell with you! <laughs> that had to hurt. Remember, they're evil rats! Another one down! <laughs> he had it too. One point for the DeSoto. Lost a point! Good job! Back to hell with you! <laughs> that had to be. Remember, they're evil rats! Now run over! Good job! <laughs> nice job. Well done! Point deducted. Banana bread. Would you like to try again? And how? Send the evil rats back to hell! Ready? Go! The car got that one. Good job. Good job. Another one down. Remember, they're evil rats. Evil kill. <laughs> one point for the DeSoto. Back to hell with you. <laughs> that had you hurt. <laughs> nice job. <laughs> he had it come. Well done. <laughs> that had you hurt. He lost a point. Good job. Well done. <laughs> nice job. Congratulations, you won! Would you like to keep playing? You bet. Send the evil rats back to hell. Ready? Go! One point for the DeSoto. Shiny detail. <laughs> he had it kill. Another one down! Good job. Point deducted. Back to hell with you. Nice job. Good job. Back to hell with you. <laughs> he had it come. The car got that one. Another one down. <laughs> Good job. Remember, they're evil rats. <laughs> that had you hurt. Well done. Another one down. <laughs> that had you hurt. Remember, they're evil rats. Marvelous! You won all the decals! Your car's soul is evil and now has a face to match. Twisted. I like it.
we use only the freshest ingredients in our popper's own forbidden fruit of knowledge cider. One sip, and for the first time, you know the difference between good and evil. I don't know. I've heard some bad things. Ah, our competitors are just afraid that if you start selling this, you'll become too successful. I don't need to tell you the advantages of an exclusive beverage distribution deal, seeing as how you're such a savvy businesswoman. <laughs> Hey, Grandpa Stinky. We found Stinky's baby book. Good, good, quick, read page 33! Well, I'm gonna take the things with a cover on it. Don't think there's nothing in here. Out loud, you cretin! Oh, uh, let's see. Fish sticks, tar, coffee, ice cream. What kind of baby book is this anyway? It's a cookbook! The name of the recipe! Read the name! The Cake of the Damned. Huh? What? what? <laughs> that'll teach her. Well, maybe you, good sir, would like to hear more about the delicious forbidden fruit of knowledge cider. Oh, no. What have I done? Hey guys, you're just in time for the stripper. Ho <laughs> ho boy! Oh god! Ooh, ooh, woo! Yeah! Shake that money maker! Take it off! Take it all off! Yeah! Ooh, ooh, woo mm. Now that's what I'm talking about! Oh yeah! Work it! Work it! Uh-huh. All right. I knew women were hard to find in our neighborhood, but I didn't think it was this bad. You people should be ashamed. It's a living. Whee! Shake that booty! Ditch the bond! I'm drunk! This ought to add some kick to their punch. Well, boys, another round? Oh, dear. Oh, my. Oh, no. I'm naked. I'm naked. I'm naked. Oh, I thought we were all just saying that. What have I done? I'm so ashamed. Here goes my innocence. I should have known hiring a budget stripper was a bad idea. Cool your heels, flat top. The show's over, but I was just getting started. I knew it. There is no use for me. Conga line, who's with me? I am. Do you mind if we perform some quick elective surgery? Whatever. I'm just a monster with no soul. Who cares about my feelings? Great, thanks! A fool and his bones are soon parted. I got a rib.
happened? Sam turned you back into a cake, but then we- <sighs> Whatever. Look, Mr. Wizard, thanks for taking all this time to talk to us, but we're not interested. But if you just- The lady said we ain't interested. Then maybe you. I believe the two of us have made ourselves clear. Ah, fine then. It's too good for you just anyway. And stay gone. Looks like you two have learned an important lesson about cooperation. Fine. You going to order something? You can't just offer something, woman. You got to push the specials. I think I can do fine without your input, Grandpa. Oh, you can, can you?
Max, distract Mr. Bliss for me. Hmm, I seem to be completely naked. Oh, dear. Hope I don't have to bend over provocatively to... That's enough, Max. Hi, you, Timmy. Glad to be back from hell. Oh, heck yeah! I'm just disappointed the f poppers never showed up at the hospital. It was my dying wish to see them, because I'm their biggest fan ever! No, Timmy, that's wrong. Max is right. The poppers are evil, wicked creatures. And besides, I'm their biggest fan ever! No frickin' way! Ask me anything about them! What's Peeper's real name? Easy! It's Dick Peacock! Ah! Sorry, Mr. Max! I'm just a melon farming trivia machine! See you later, Timmy. Have a flippin' great day! I'm gonna be loving you all night long. <sighs> Max, what's her situation? Peepers is making the move on Sybil. She's totally into it. Just wanted to make sure my dementia hasn't kicked in early. You can forget all about old Stoneface. Peepers is the only man you need now. Oh, Peepers. You just let peepers know how you want it, baby. Say my name. Say my name. Hey, Dick Peacock. Ah! What? What? You ruined everything. What have you done to his eyes? You still want to make out? Oh, hell no. Ah! <laughs> well, we've saved Sybil from a lifetime of regret. And given ourselves a blackmail opportunity to secure our financial future. Good news, Satan. We took care of all three of those hoppers. Well done, lads. Now come with me and watch Satan do what he does best. I'm intrigued. Boardroom negotiations and corporate power play. Oh. You've lost, poppers. It's time we put an end to this charade and returned hell to its rightful owner. What Satan said! 
Poppers, assume demon form. Behold, Peepers the Omniscient, he of the Death Gaze. Oh, bother. Behold, Wizrael the Tormentor. It burns when I pee. Behold, Specs the Dominator of... Oh, come on. Those are your demon forms? They're different colors. Why am I always the only one who puts any effort into these things? Sam, I'm not enjoying the poppers anymore. Can I kill them? Not if I get them first. Banish the irritants! Sam and Max, we cast you into the pit. By the power of the bell! And the book. And the candle. So be it. Well, Max, unless we learn how to fly, we're destined to spend the remainder of our days on a tiny outcropping surrounded by impossibly hot lava, ash, and soot. I don't mind, Sam, as long as I'm with my best friend. Oh, that's sweet, little pal. Hey, give me one of those pork rinds you were carrying. Sorry, buddy. I already ate them all. We're gonna die! Ha! <laughs> Somebody help! By the ruby red goiters of Rube Goldberg. Look, Max, it's Santa's sleigh. What an unexpected stroke of luck. Or is it, Max? Remember that time long ago when we jacked Santa's sleigh in an effort to save Christmas and drove it recklessly into a hellish vision of the future very much like the one we're standing in now? I stopped paying attention halfway through that sentence. I wonder if our ghosts are here guiding us right now. Hey, past me! Check this out! Classy as always, little pal. Now let's get out of here. Donuts around the seventh circle. It's out of power, little buddy. Guess I shouldn't have left the afterburners on. Hello, Commissioner. No, Sam's here. I don't know. He just let me answer it. Is it cold in here to you, Max? I should have worn my mucklucks. What's that, Commissioner? I won the Nobel Peace Prize? Congrats, pal. I can't think of anyone who deserves it more, whose name I'd be able to pronounce. Okay, thanks, Commissioner. Okay, yeah, roger that. Love you, too. Do we have a new case, little buddy? Nah, same one. But Sybil wants me to officiate at her wedding. Well, that'll be fun. We'd better hurry up and restore the balance of power in hell, then. A little help here, guys. I don't like that we can see him digesting, Sam. It's all part of nature's hideous circle of life, Max. Ice cream in hell, Max. What flavor is it? Hmm, looks like plain v- People really shouldn't leave ritual candles lying around. Just a pinch of tar. Damn! A 
Papa Joe. Damn! A little ice cream. Damn! Now, through the magic of television, let's see the cake in its final form. You make it look easy, Sam. I know three princes of hell who've got a special surprise coming! Why, you... you... you remembered! For us? Oh, you guys! Happy birthday, poppers! Did someone say... birthday? I'm gonna miss those guys. Don't ever say that again, Max. Not even as a joke. Well, boys, you've restored the Infernal Realms to their former glory. Thanks to your quick thinking and irrepressible spirit, hell is safe. I'm not gonna lie. I'm extremely proud of myself right now. We'd better run, Max. Sybil and Abe's wedding will be starting any minute. Later, Beelzebub. Sybil's paying me by the hour. Why don't you come by the reception, Satan? Really? I don't want you to get tired of me so soon, since you're going to be seeing so much of me later. I didn't like the sound of that. Don't sweat it, Sam. We're bound to get reincarnated as each other a few times anyway. You crack me up, little blasphemer. Love is in the air, everybody, so hold on tight while we get on board the wedding train. Mm. Oh, oh, yeah. You know it, baby. Oh, that's right. Are you with the brighter oh. room, sir? Hmm. Wonder if I don't like either one. Mm -mm -mm. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, Abe! You're wearing white. Interesting choice. Dearly beloved, we're gathered here today to celebrate this twisted mockery of holy matrimony. It's so beautiful. I hope they have lots of children. Uh, you would say that. Do you have the ring? Oh, shoot. I promised myself I wouldn't cry. Hunter Buck says they don't last three months. Ready, girls? Anytime! Denied! Fail! And what is it that you do? Listen up, because I'm only going to say this twice. I'm a bug. A bug! Interesting. May I interest you in a new blackmail opportunity? That's so sweet! Thanks for coming. Blah, blah. Thank you so much. Enjoy the dinner. Shack baby electric slide. Bye kids, have fun. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. You think we can trust him with our car, Sam? It's possessed by demons, Max. Can we trust the car? With them? Let's 
seen the last of us, Sam and Max. We can never be defeated. We'll be back. We'll be back. Thank you.